All right, so I called in to talk radio for the first time in a while, and I usually love talk radio. Uh, Peter Schiff, he always gets... I've been on there like once. Um, I'd like to be on Alex Jones someday, but that probably won't happen. There was one guy who who, uh, who called in and was like, um, I've been waiting a year to do this, and he'd been calling it. But anyway, the point of this is I was on talk radio, and I've experienced one of the rudest hosts ever. Uh, I was completely respectful when I called him. I'm never, you know, I just talk. And the topic was this Maryland Senate candidate race, um, Dan Bongino versus Rob Sabani. And a lot of the Maryland Republican people are mad because they think that Sabani is undercutting Bongino, which is probably too true because Sabani is way better than Bongino, at least in my estimation, and they're about tied in the polls. Regardless, I was looking through Sabani's or uh, Bongino's finance reports, not Sabani, Bongino, and I found in his finance reports that he um, he paid this anti-gay staffer. He paid him like three thousand dollars. It could have been more because. Bongino's been breaking up his finances into separate parts. So, like, he'll he'll pay people, but by different methods, so you can't see it. It's not easy to see how total it is. So he made it, might have paid him more. I don't know. Point is, I called in, and I said that Bongino was paying this guy. And I've read about the guy. Apparently, he's repented. He says he's really sorry. He wrote, like, a, a long thing about how, like, his life's been ruined. He should have never said it. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. The damage has already been done. I don't want to give him any more exposure. I feel like, from what I read, it seemed like he's a, he might have had a personal conversion on his views. But regardless, this guy should not be associated with anything politically. If you call a gay person subhuman, you're, you should be done politically. I, I mean, maybe he can have a job somewhere else, that's fine, where your political views aren't involved. Uh, but Bongino didn't do his due diligence in checking out these, these staffer people. And he still paid him. So, what I'm I'm wanting to ask if you if the radio hosts who cut me off are watching this, I noticed two things. My friend said when I called in, I I named the staffer, and then I said he called the gay people subhuman. You guys cut me off like you, you cut me off when I was on the live when I was talking to you. But what you went back and did is you edited the uh, the radio transmission to get where I only said the staffer's name, and you cut me off right there. So, either you guys know him, and you're covering for him, or you're just covering for Dan Bongino, which is the most likely thing. So, what I'm going to do is, I know you, you, have, you have everything there, you've got the original stuff. You could post it and say, oh, that's not true, we didn't edit it. You know, you guys can fudge it, because you have the original transmission somewhere. But, I want to know why you did this, because I didn't say anything offensive, I'm just asking... Why is Bongino hiring a guy who called gay people subhuman? I mean, even if I think, from what I read, it seems like the guy had a, you know, it seemed like it was a heart-to-heart. He changed his views. But regardless, he should be politically done. And why is Bongino not doing his due diligence when the first thing you get when you Google the guy's name is that he called gay people subhuman? Uh, you probably won't respond to this. You'll probably take it, you'll take it down, I'm sure. Uh, what I think is happening is you're mad that Bongino is losing... A lot of you, I, I've, yeah. I've met some of the people on the transmission. I know at least one that I've met. You've been involved with the Republican Party for a long time. Uh, and what I think is happening is you're kind of going a little in the head. You're kind of mad that everything is collapsing. And Sabani is the epitome of that because he's a successful independent candidate with his own cash. He's built his name ID. He's cleaning your clocks in the polls. I mean, he might not beat Bongino, but he's certainly he's about tied with him right now. So I'd like to get an actual response. Why did you not, why did you cut off the transmission? What is the answer? And it doesn't have to be the radio host who has to answer this. I could get an answer from Bongino or anybody because you've got a little network here where you're covering for each other. So I want an answer. And you should stop manipulating the media by cutting off the transmission when there was no profanity, obscenity, or deception, or nothing, you know, nothing silly. So I'd like a response. I know I won't get one, but it's good that you guys be exposed.